Hey folks, welcome to the channel. Today we are going head to head on grid with the HS3 versus off grid with the Max 11. We're going to compare off grid to on grid through the specs of both of these machines. Start with what they have in common. Both of them can be connected to the grid, however only the HS3 can sell power back to the grid. Both of them can be paralleled with multiple units for more battery storage and for increased inverter power. Both of them are all in one self-contained units that manage themselves automatically. And the equipment costs of both the off-grid setup and the HS3 on-grid system are more or less the same. The first difference is obviously aesthetics. The HS3 has been on the market for only a couple of months now. It's smaller, more modular and overall a nicer looking unit. However, it's less powerful. The four-year-old Max here has a higher continuous load capability at 11 kilowatts, which you can increase to 66 kilowatts by paralleling it with other units, but it doesn't include the batteries, which you have to get separately. The HS3 has only 5.75, but that can also be increased by paralleling it with multiple units. The HS3 uses its own modular high voltage batteries, whereas the Max can be connected to any low voltage battery of any brand and type. Deciding whether on-grid or off-grid is going to suit you best comes down to a couple of different factors. First of all, your lifestyle and your appliances. How many large appliances do you want to run at the same time? Second of all then, how many solar panels are you going to buy to supply power to charge the batteries and run your house? And third of all then, your seasonal weather. How much power are you going to be able to generate over the year to make sure you're not buying power from the grid or that you have enough to sell to the grid with the on-grid system in order to cover the days where you're not generating any power. With the on-grid system, it is possible to have zero energy costs for large portions of the year. With the off-grid system, you'll always be faced with a standing charge, which here in Ireland at the moment is 20 to 25 euros a month. Effectively, it acts as a subscription fee to make sure you always have the grid there as an emergency backup. Speaking of backups, most of the modern on-grid stuff can still continue to operate in a grid down scenario like with the SIG energy equipment and the HS3 there, they can supply power to small loads in the event of a grid failure. However, one of the benefits of the off-grid is that you can add in additional systems like wind turbines without having to use a separate inverter. Straight up, the biggest advantage that the on-grid stuff has over the off-grid is in customer service and tech support. If you ever have a problem, you can call your solar installer. They'll be able to ring up the tech support team of whatever brand of equipment you've gone for and get your problem fixed pretty quickly. However, with the off-grid stuff, all you have realistically is the product warranty. So if you call them up and say you have a faulty product, the first problem you will face is they will try to say it's operator error, and then you'll have to send the product back yourself, get the replacement, and deal with everything yourself. So which one is the winner? Well, that all depends on your personal circumstances. Can you generate enough power to sell back to the grid to cover the cost of the power you're buying in? Or, with off-grid, can you invest in enough batteries to store enough power to get you through the year and the dark winter months? So there is the choice. If you like high-powered systems that aren't limited by grid regulations, then maybe off-grid is a better option for you. However, if you like the security of tech support and the potential to eliminate your energy costs entirely for the year, then maybe on-grid is a better option. Let me know what you think down in the comments below, which one you'd prefer, and tell me why, please. It'd be interesting to hear. Other than that, guys, hope you've enjoyed the video. Do take care of yourselves. I'll see you in the next one.